Hey there, I'm Chris Dukic, and today I'm going to show you how effortless Display Now makes turning this TV into a digital sign that you can control from anywhere. People love Display Now because we make it easy enough for anyone to pick up and start using it. Today, I'm really excited to show you our new manager experience. Manager is your one stop shop for managing any number of screens. We've built upon the simplicity that people have come to love, and now it's even easier to complete everyday tasks. And with that, Let's get into it. So upon creating your account, we'll take you to this welcome screen and it will walk you through all the setup process. So we're gonna add our screen. Behind me, I already have, um, so this is a regular old TV. It's actually old uh, and I've got a, Google Chromecast plugged into this. So you could use Google TV, you could use Fire TV. Those are the two main platforms uh, we support at this time. So you're gonna go ahead and search for the Display Now TV player app uh, in the app store, download that. And once you install it, you're gonna get a code like this. And when you click on um, you know, the appropriate option here, it'll give you the instructions and, and the direct link. So you don't have to be guessing X, G, Y, S. All right, so you know that code is going to connect, and just like that, it's going to um, you know activate the screen and start working. Now I, I'm creating a playlist, so playlists show media in an ordered loop. We don't have any media, so we're going to add some new media here. Uh, I'm going to upload a couple images from my computer. So perhaps you have a menu or some graphics that you want to show. You can upload those just like that uh, in bulk up to 100 at a time. And then you add a, you can add a prefix to it and then it'll kind of prefix so you know what, what kind of bulk upload it was a part of. Um, and I'm going to say, let's make this a five second uh, page change duration. So I want everything in here to show up for five seconds at a time. Um, I also have the ability to schedule these items. So say your restaurant with a breakfast menu you could show your breakfast menu from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. or whatever the hours may be uh, is a good example of that. And if you want it to expire on a certain date, you can do that as well, right in line. Couldn't be easier. Um, so you could also disable, if you want, no, don't want to show it right now, um, that's an option as well. So we're gonna save. And now that's gonna upload those files to manager. All right, so now I've got my, we're back to our playlist. I'm gonna add those three things that we just uploaded to the playlist. Uh, and then you'll notice you can drag and drop and move things around, change the transition between fade and instant. Fade is the most popular here. Uh, and if you've created folders already, you can organize your media into folders, uh, your playlist into folders, screens, screens as well, uh, to help keep everything nice and organized. All right. So we've got a playlist, I'm gonna select it. So now I've got my first playlist pegged to my first screen and this is where the magic happens. I click save and just like that, it's gonna take over in just a moment. It's downloading the images that we just put in there and it's gonna cycle through. So that's how easy it is. It couldn't be simpler, right? Um, so. Uh, what you'll notice here is, is we're back, now we're at the screens page. So this is where you'll see all of your screens, whether you have one or a thousand or thousands of them, we can support anything. Um, the preview will populate shortly, uh, but you, so you'll get a periodically, it takes a screenshot uh, and then sends it back. Uh, you can see the playlist that it's on. You can hit refresh. You can preview in the browser as well. If you want to see if you're not near the screen and you want to just see how that's going to behave. You can do that. Uh, coming down on the left-hand side, media. So this is the media uh, that we just uploaded. Uh, we can add additional media. So let's let's do that. Let's do Google Slides. So Google Slides is great because you can link it, and once you link it, that's all you have to do. Uh, you can make edits right in the, in the slide deck and uh, it just syncs it the next time it, the playlist begins. 
I'm going to select a sample here. And we're going to show, um, let's show the slides for five seconds. We don't want any slide controls like they, they usually show. We got our first playlist here. And so we've got five seconds. We've got two slides in this slide deck. We can go edit that. All right, we got two slides. We're going to click that and then um, come back into the playlist here. Send to playlist. Let's move this to the top. Update. Just like that, it updates, right? That easy. If we wanted to make an edit, we can say, um, maybe we can say the new versus new. I just made the edit here and that's it. I don't have to do anything. So this is great for schools, um, companies that want to communicate information to employees, uh, you know, you name it. You can even do menus like this. So there's a lot of options here and it's, it's a very flexible system. So when this cycles through here, we'll see the update, the new versus your new. So that's how easy it is. We've made it dead simple uh, to do this here. Um, broadcast lets you send media directly to a screen. So we can go ahead and create a broadcast Um, let's just do that one image that I had sent. You can send it to any number of screens. Uh, you can set it live immediately and to never expire. Or you could say, you know, set it for a future date, uh, maybe tomorrow, and then expire at a future date as well. You can also do recurrences, just like scheduling a calendar invite, if you're familiar with that. So you could do uh, minutes, days, hours, weeks. So you can say, oh, hey, only show this on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then, you know, end that after a certain uh, period of time or after, you know, a thousand whatever occurrences that you want to put in there. And just like that, the broadcast is scheduled. So the content will take over at the appropriate time. It's really empty. Groups allow you to share access with others. So you can uh, create a group here. This is great for you know, large companies that want to kind of segment access across um, you know, maybe departments or offices. Uh, you can you know, leverage the same slide deck across groups, uh, but media and, and other things that you upload are, are exclusive to the groups uh, that you create. So this is also a great feature for uh, people that want to use our product and, and resell it to others. We have many people doing that on the platform. We're happy to support it. And um, yeah, so let's create a group. So when you add your screen, anything that's associated automatically gets added. Um, and we got a broadcast here we want to add as well. And then, you know, you type in, uh, you know, an email address here and, um, it will send the group member an invite uh, that they'll have to accept to be a part of the group. And uh, you can see here that uh, I'm currently in a trial there and um, you can change owners, all that good stuff. And your group dropdown will be uh, over here in the left. And once you know you toggle that dropdown, you'll see just what's in that group throughout all of Manager. So it's a really nice way to organize everything um, and keep things separate when when it's appropriate to do so. We've got uh, you know the my subscription page here. We support a variety of payment methods, but we have cards in here just now. So if you need, if you want to pay for through PayPal, um, other other methods as well, just give us a holler and we're we're able to send out that link uh, from behind the scenes here. So just get us in the chat here uh, on the it'll be in the bottom right hand corner here. Uh, Anyway, so you can, uh, when it's finally time, we'd love to have you. You can um, browse our plans. You select the number of screens uh, that you'd like to see here. And we've got our basic and pro plan. 
So you know, billing is is really as low as four ninety nine per screen uh, per month billed annually uh, here. So the biggest difference between the two plans is is storage, video quality, and and media scheduling, as well as um, organizing into groups, and of course phone support. Obviously, it's more expensive for us to to take a phone call than an email or a chat. So uh, you know, for those that need it, we have it, and we're happy to provide it. Uh, so you can check out uh, once you have the plan uh, that's right for you. Enter your card information, hit save and pay. And 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 just like that, you know, you're all up and running. Uh, we've worked really hard to make this super simple and easy. Uh, I it would welcome your feedback on all of that. You can send us your feedback uh, down here. Uh, we'd love to, you know, love to hear that. And, uh, you know, it's it's a big part of, Everything we do, right, is for customers and people like you who are using our platform. Uh, and we're looking forward to adding additional options and integrations into the future. So thank you for the time. We hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you next time.